I'm Don Schaff, Senior Director of Product Management for the Entertainment Solutions Division at Christie. Um, what we have here today is our Solaria One Digital Cinema Projector. This is our high value digital cinema projector aimed at uh, emerging markets and at smaller rural screens where the where, where they haven't converted to a digital projector yet. This is a, a xenon lamp illuminated projector. It's putting out 8,000 8, lumens in the DCI color space. It's capable of 9,000 lumens for alternative content. The projector ships from our factory complete with a lamp and a lens and a built-in Christie IMB. So to get cinema content into this projector, it goes in through an IMB that's already installed in the projector from the factory. Um, the content is stored on a, a commodity storage device in the rack here. So this would be a, just a commodity RAID 5 storage device. It's a, it's a NAS, okay. network attached storage, and you can tailor that to meet your needs in terms of the, uh, the storage. So uh, some other companies offer um, media blocks that, that allow other companies who offer them to, to plug them into, uh, into the projector. But why, do, why does Christie have their own branded IMB? Um, we think it's important that, that a card that actually sits inside the projector is designed by the same engineers that designed that projector. So the projector itself is a pretty harsh environment in terms of power supplies and thermals and vibrations and things like that. And we believe that since the card is actually sitting on the back plane drawing power from our projector, it has to survive in that environment of, you know, in sometimes extreme heat with a, with a two or a three or sometimes a six kilowatt lamp. lamp yeah. uh, Thing out that heat in that projector, it's, it's, it just seems reasonable and, and a good idea for people to buy the IMB from the same manufacturers. Beyond that, um, we've noticed from our years in the industry that at times people upgrade the, the software in their server or their IMB, not in the projector at the same time, you can get trapped between software upgrade cycles. So right. If you find the server or the IMB and the projector from the same company, you can make sure that you can be insured. You can be assured that when you upgrade any software at all in either piece, it's going to be fully compatible with the other piece. Okay. You also like to go with a xenon lamp in this, so what, and I think you said you looked at UHP. What, what, why did you go with the xenon? Xenon lamp is ideal for cinema projection because we've, we're trying to achieve something called the DCI color space. And that's a, a much broader color space than what you would find in an NTSC on a television or on a, on a, a lower cost type projector. Sure. And the xenon lamp, it, it, it best resembles the, the even light output of the sun. And when you're using a, a mercury type lamp, you have to throw away, in some cases, up to 40% of the light using something called a yellow notch filter yes. to achieve the DCI color space. We, we, we believe, we strongly believe that the xenon lamp is, is the only solution for visual okay. Now, someone who would use a, a, a UHP lamp might be able to offer a more compact solution. Is that is there some advantage to that, do you see, in the, in the cinema market? Um, I don't believe that is a real advantage. I mean, most cinema booths have ample space for projectors, and this one is just itself pretty compact compared to most of the projectors in front of the Okay. Now, you also said there's going to be a Solaria 1 coming soon. This is the Solaria 1. There's going to be a Solaria 1 Plus. 1 Plus, I'm sorry. In three months' time. Okay. And that'll give you an extra 1,000 lumens. So that'll be 9,000 lumens in DCI color space, over 10,000 lumens in native color space for alternative content. Uh, the Solaria 1 Plus will also ship with a motorized lens mount for automated automated zooms and flat to scope, and it'll have a, a, a higher quality lens. Okay, and these are shipping now. This is shipping now, so there one plus is shipping in three months. Got it. Super. Um, one more thing. Uh, you also showed me this new uh, SCA 3D. Tell me about that. The SCA 3D is a, it's an all-in-one audio-video processor. And really, the SCA 3D was, was born out of a need. People, people often would like to use their digital cinema projector for alternative 3D content. You know, from a Blu-ray 3D or a PS3 3D, they want to have a... Uh, a video gamer's day in their theater. Right. And, and digital cinema projectors don't have inputs capable of taking consumer 3D formats. So we said, you know what, we can build a box for that. So we can build a box where you can take an HDMI signal, and from the back of this box, the Scott 3D, comes two DVI cables. The two DVI cables can plug into any of our digital cinema projectors as a left eye and a right eye signal. High frame rate capable up to 60 frames per second each. So this is a, a, a length that's capable of 60 frames per second per eye. Okay. 
and, and display that on the cinema projector. Now, is, is this projector capable of high frame rate, by the way? This projector is high frame rate capable. Good. And uh, pricing compared to, uh, to uh, the one that used the, the larger DLP this, chip? This projector will be a, a system projector with the IMB about 25 to 30% less than, than previous solutions. Okay. That's terrific. Thanks very much.